What's up guys, have a good night. Back with another Pokemon Go video. So today we're gonna go over the top 10 things you should avoid doing, starter tips, and Easter eggs in Pokemon Go. Now for you pro players, this list might also help with a few things you may have missed. Before we go on though, for anyone who is interested, I'm doing a Pokemon Go giveaway for two level 25 accounts. For those who want to enter, all you have to do is like the video, comment below, and click the link below to do the final step. Pretty much the final step is subscribing, so that'll take like 30 seconds or less. And uh, yeah, so back to the video, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the first one, which is an Easter egg. Now this is not something you should avoid, but as the first one in this list, I thought I'd go ahead and include a helpful tip for everyone, so here it goes. So this Easter egg guarantees more items, eggs, and XP out of Pokestops. If you visit 10 different Pokestops within a 30 minute stretch, you'll receive double XP, at least twice as many items as a usual Pokestop visit, and an egg when you spin the 10th Pokestop. Now I highly recommend you to do this one if you're going for a walk in a high populated area or have a bike you can ride to 10 different Pokestops in 30 minutes. Not only this is really easy and simple to do, but you get rewarded very nicely. After about 10 minutes, it resets and you can do it over if you wish. Just remember that you cannot keep going to the same Pokestops, so no repeats during the 10 you'll be stopping at. Reason why is pretty much to avoid you sitting in one Pokestop and ranking up on free items and of course to make it fair for everyone. The second tip is don't start evolving your Pokemon right away. Save them all up and evolve them all at the same time the next time you use a lucky egg, which of course will make you rank up on XP big time. This is the fastest way to level up. I myself have probably evolved about a dozen Pokemon before figuring this out and doing it this way. Reason why this is so great is because the lucky egg gives you double XP for each evolve allowing you to level up faster. Also remember that some Pokemon can be evolved twice, so if you have enough candy, don't make the mistake of evolving two lower ones instead of evolving the same one twice. So anyways, back to the lucky egg. Next time you're going on a evolving streak, remember it. Next up we have is turn off the AR camera to catch Pokemon more easily. It's really not a mistake to have it on, but the AR camera which shows the Pokemon you're trying to catch in the real world does make it more difficult to catch them while on. It's especially annoying if you're trying to catch a flying type Pokemon, like for example, a Zubat. You'll look like an angry man trying to take pictures of the sky, and most likely the Zubat will also escape. To turn it off when catching a Pokemon, click on the AR button in the top right corner to put the screen to a green field. Here, the Pokemon move about far less, and it's much easier to catch them. Not to mention having the AR mode off also will save you tons of battery. Next up, don't leave Pokemon Go on while driving. Don't worry, at some point we all have thought that the incubation of eggs in the kilometers they take to hatch could rapidly be increased by driving around with the game on. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work unless you're driving really slow. The game can tell when you're going too fast, and any faster than around 20 miles per hour, an incubation will temporarily be shut off. However, a better option will be going for a bike ride and that'll help you cover the distance much more faster and at a good speed. Next up is catch everything. Seriously, everything. Yes, you're going to get sick of catching the same commons all day and having a collection of rats, but trust me, they're all going to be worth it. Everyone you catch adds another three poke candies that you can use to either power up your strongest version of that Pokemon or evolve it. Each time you catch one, you also earn at least 100 more XP. And on top of that, you can keep transferring the excess Pokemons to get an extra Poke Candy for each. So that makes a total of four Poke Candies just for catching one. You most likely never run out of Pokeballs, so it makes sense to catch everything just to progress in the game. Next one is don't level your Pokemon till they're evolved. One pretty common mistake done by newer players is wanting their Pokemon to be as strong as possible, as quick as possible. What this leads to are a lot of 100 CP pigeons and rats also, your Pokemons will just be in its first form evolution and weak. Don't do that. Save all your Stardust and all your Poke Candies for evolving your Pokemon first, then leveling them. The increase in attack power is far greater. You'll get more XP from evolving and possibly end up with a new Pokemon you never had before. It's the far better way. And once they're evolved, you can start powering them up if you want to keep them. Moving on is don't waste your Pokeballs. It's a little more than just trying to make the ball hit the Pokemon. Everything in your screen means something, like the rings. A green ring indicates the capture is low difficulty. Orange indicates medium difficulty. And red indicates hard difficulty. If you see a red or orange ring, the best thing to do will most likely be to feed the Pokemon a berry 
or use a stronger Pokeball from your bag. Also, you have the greatest chance of capturing the Pokemon while the colored ring is at its smallest diameter. Pretty much what that means is wait until the circle gets small before throwing your Pokeball. Jumping right to the next one, don't try to revive your Pokemon right before evolving. When you evolve any Pokemon, the health bar will go back to full even if the Pokemon was like stone cold knocked out. In other words, don't waste your items to fill up the health bar right before evolving any Pokemon. Now the next one is pretty self-explanatory and it's pretty debatable as well. It is don't hack. Now as I said, this one is highly debatable but oftentimes starters want to progress very fast. There's so many videos on how to hack the game and even if I uploaded one, you shouldn't really do it on your main account do it on a secondary account that you won't take seriously. There is a high chance you get some type of ban, and even if their video says 100% safe, you never know the changes the game does to its security. And finally, the last one, don't ignore curving your Pokeball. Now, if you don't know what this is, here's a quick rundown. You get a great bonus when throwing a curveball. All you have to do is spin the ball and throw it according to how you spun it. Think of it as paper toss. If the wind is blowing to the right, you throw the ball to the left. In Pokemon Go, if you spin the ball to the right, Throw the ball to the left. Although it is harder to do, you get an XP bonus for doing so, and it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So that's pretty much it guys for the 10 things you should avoid in Pokemon Go. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and comment below on what other videos you would like to see on Pokemon Go. I really love when you guys give feedback and say what videos you truly want to see, so don't forget to do that. Also, as I said in the beginning of the video, for those who want to enter for a giveaway for two Pokemon Go accounts, each at level 25 go ahead and like the video comment below and click the gleam link below it ends in about a week from now so you still have time to enter you have like forever and uh yeah so before we do end the video though for those who want to learn how to get some free pokey coins or gems for games like clash royale or clash of clans I do have a quick and easy way to do that, so here you go. All you have to do is download Clash for Apps from the link below, create a free account, and when you get there, uh, you should see like a bunch of apps to download. So pretty much all you have to do is download apps and play them for 30 seconds. Every time you do this, you do get points for downloading the app and playing it, so once you have enough points, you can redeem those points for iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and so on. Now, to get your Pokecoins, just go to the App Store and redeem your gift card. Open up Pokemon Go and enjoy the coins and yeah. So guys, I think that should be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comments on YouTube. See you on the next one. Peace.